Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me for this video today. My name is Nicole and I am a part-time reseller in eBay and Poshmark. And today I have a Goodwill haul for you guys. I just recently went to Goodwill and I picked up some fun pieces that I'm going to put up on the different platforms that I sell on. Like I said, um, I am a part-time reseller and I do sell on eBay and Poshmark primarily, but I do list uh, every once in a while on Depop and Etsy. I don't make many sales on there. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to list on there, but I do use List Perfectly, which is a cross uh, posting service site thing, and um, they do uh, have it available to post to those different sites. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue doing it because it hasn't really brought much for sales, but um, yeah. Anyway, we'll see. Uh, so today, I'm just going to show you the items I got. Um, I'm at, in a different spot. Um, I just kind of revamped my living room, and um, there's a computer back there and stuff like that, my husband's stuff. But um, So it's a little bit different setup than normal, a lot of different background stuff, so please ignore the mess. Um, I am on my couch, and I got all of my thrifted items that I want to show you. Um, these pieces are all pieces that I'm planning to resell, and I mean, I might end up keeping one or two, but you know, that happens once in a while, but usually um, I want to make $18 to $30 profit on each item. Um, my hopes is that I can make at least $20 profit, but I would say a lot of times I make around $18 profit on a lot of things, and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to go through and show you guys everything that I picked up. Um, all this stuff was purchased at Goodwill and, um, I do usually, uh, my Goodwill has like a special rewards program. So once you get up to hundred dollars, you get $5 off. Um, I believe everything here was around 80, was it $83? Um, no way. Yeah, it was 83.13. Um, my Goodwill prices are kind of high. Um, most dresses are $5.99. They go up to like $9.99. If they're new with tags, they'll charge you like $15. Um, I do frequently find items that are 50% off because my Goodwill has a color tag uh, of the week. And this past week, I believe it was purple. I think it was purple. No, wait, it was, I got this item. It was green. Yeah, it was green. So that's the color tag it was green. So anything that's a green tag, I did get half off. Okay, so I'm just going to get right into it and show you it. This is a brand I've never picked up before. I saw it, this particular piece, at my Goodwill a week or so ago. Um, I didn't pick it up because I really didn't want to pay $5.99, but it is very art to wear like. It's got like um, the handkerchief hem kind of on the sides. It's by Cynthia Wayne Gaffield. Um... I got this purely on style because it is art to wear. That's something I will put in the title. It also has like a tie dye ombre type um, pattern. And I did look up and some people have on eBay, there's not much listed, like a couple of things that I could find. I got to do a little more research. Um, and one person has their, their stuff listed, listed really high. So I thought for $3, I'm sure I can sell it for $20. And that wouldn't be a lot of profit, but it, that would be some profit. So I did pick it up and I thought it was kind of a cool looking piece. So I picked this up. I really like vintage swimwear. I pick it up all the time and vintage swimwear sells well. I actually just sold on Etsy. Well, it was a couple weeks ago. I sold a vintage like high cut 90s bikini, like something you would see on like Baywatch or something. And I think I sold it for $50 plus shipping. So that's pretty awesome. I think I paid a dollar for it. Okay. So this is just like a fun one piece. This reminds me of nineties, eighties, nineties. It's in really good condition. Um, it was five 99, but I really think I could sell it for at least $30. So I'm definitely going to get very close to that $20 profit. Um, with older bathing suits and any bathing suit really that you purchase, you always want to look at the back and make sure that there's not a bunch of like pilling or pulls because people set in the sides of pools and that frequently will mess up the bottom. So I always check that when I'm out thrifting. I think this might be mine because it's got some issues. Actually, I just found another one, a little hole. Um, but it is like a Y2K top. It was only $1.99. I thought it would look cute with some high-waisted jeans. Um, it is 
missing some of the the um the thread oh i didn't realize the back is all undone this is probably just gonna be mine guys because i probably can't sell it like this if it was like in good condition and didn't have any flaws um i could try to fix it but i probably would just not <laughs> um then I probably could sell it for like $25, but a Y2K style is really in right now. I sell a lot of Y2K type stuff, um, and I would definitely use that. Brand doesn't mean anything when it's vintage or Y2K. It doesn't really mean much. Uh, you can still sell it. Um, obviously, it's a, if it's a good brand, then you're going to get more traction because you're not just going to put vintage. Uh, usually when I list like Y2K stuff or even vintage stuff, I put vintage Y2K in it. I don't put the brand usually unless it's like a really good brand right so i just do that because um people aren't going to be looking for some of these brands they're not going to look for them they're not going to put that in the search title but they are going to maybe put the style which would be like y2k or vintage that kind of stuff this is actually a vintage banana republic wrap skirt it was only it was 350 and I really got it because I thought it was kind of cool. It, it isn't anything like spectacular, but I just like the style of how it wraps right here and it ties. I just thought that was really cool. It is um, probably full length and I will probably try to model it because I feel like a lot of pieces that are vintage and, and like maybe it wouldn't necessarily be what the style you would think would sell real well, but when it's modeled with the right styling you know then it does well okay this is another y2k piece i really love buying this stuff because i love that that time period this brand is nothing but it is like a tube top dress with like a handkerchief hem it's got this tie ribbon and i did pay 5.99 for this but i really think i could probably sell it for 25 to 30 dollars at least i'm hoping I got this purely on style. I might try and see if it fits me. It's just like a skirt with this like wooden tie thingy. And it's lightweight. I don't know if there's any, oh, there's a tag. It's called Sang Sangha Boutique. It probably isn't anything. It's 100% cotton made in Thailand. It was $4.99, but I really got it on style and I thought it would be a fun summer skirt. It says it's a large. I don't know, maybe this could be worn as also a dress. I don't know. Possibly. That's, I just bought on style. I didn't buy it for anything else. This I thought was cool. I paid up for it, but it was just so cool. And like, it's probably a one of a kind piece that you could never find anywhere else. Um, I paid $9.99 for the top and bottom, but look at the, the, the top is, what do they call that? Not ruched. Um, I have to look up the, the, what that is. But it's supposed to be size 8, they're saying. I don't know. I just thought the top was really cute. It would be so fun on, like, a vacation. And the bottom is a wrap skirt. Like a fun Hawaiian wrap skirt. I love it. It's so cute. This is so, so tropical. This is, like, what you wear on your vacation. And I pray that this summer I can get a vacation. I hope, I hope, I have lots of hopes for the summer because I will not be working full time since I'm a teacher. So um, I will be working some, but I won't be working full time. So I'm hoping that I can do some fun things <laughs> this summer. Um, I found some Athleta dresses. They're older styles, but I picked them up anyway. I think I found two, I found three, but I left one behind because it looked like there was a lot of pilling on it. This is a maxi ribbed um, tank dress it is full length and it's actually a little bit high low and it's just like a oatmeal -y tan color like a space dye it's very long um, if it was my if it was my size it's a medium but if it was my size I probably would keep it um this is another one this one I might see how it fits and keep it but this this is an older tag athleta um some wait so this is an extra small that's funny um, if it fits me, I'll probably keep it, but it's just, just a very like basic, it's kind of stretchy and both these dresses were $5.99, but I really love Athleta and when I find it, if it's in good condition, I usually pick it up even if it's five or $6 because, um, generally you can sell Athleta for 25 and up 
you know, generally. Not always, but I've got pieces that has that. that I mean, not tanks. Tanks don't sell for much. But um, I was surprised these were still there because they were half off. They were only $3 because I had a green tag. These are a pair of Alice and Olivia leggings with, like, faux leather. And they're a size 10, so they're actually a really great size. I think that they'll do good. They zip up, and I could find a stock photo online for this, so I'm going to list these. Um, I really don't know what her leggings go for online, um, like, you know, used, but I think that I can at least sell them for $35. Some of the stuff does not sell great. This is something that I'll probably for sure put on Depop because it's definitely the Y2K era. pair of shorts, the lace-up, no back pockets, the rivets. Um, the brand is Mud, so that's actually an interesting, that's like a good brand um, that was popular in the 2000s. Mud was super popular, and I did pay $5 for these, um, which is a lot. I really would rather only pay, you know, $3 for a piece and, and lower, but a lot of times I do have to spend at least $5 because um, that's how my Goodwill is, and when I shop local if i don't go out of town it is a lot harder for me to find pieces um less expensive so this is a brand this is a bolo brand i would say and actually i'm gonna look up um i sold i believe i sold them on poshmark a pair of pants very similar to this on poshmark a while back um i believe i paid a dollar for the pants and I think I sold them for 70, 65 or $75. Um, it is the brand, I'll look it through here because I really, I'm really hoping I can show you. Um, it is the brand Os Oska. I'm not sure, this is a larger size. Um, they have like a very la lagging, lagging, lagging look. Um, uh, style, wide leg. These might be the same ones that I had before but in a bigger size. Um, they are interesting. Uh, the, a lot of the stock photos are really very like boho kind of like very, it's expensive stuff, but it, it is like super like big looking. I'm really hoping I can find it on here. I'll just, I'm just going to search through for a second. If I can't find it, I can't find it, but I'm pretty sure I sold them on here on a, I did. Yep. Okay. So I sold these for $55 on Poshmark. So, and I paid a dollar for these. I'm pretty sure these were the ones I paid a dollar for. They were something I got from uh, Style Encore, like a dollar sale or whatever. And I paid a dollar for them. And they sold within a couple days, I think. They sold really quickly. That was in January they sold. So I'm definitely going to list these. Um, I think I'll probably list them a little bit higher and then, you know, leave room for offers. But I'm hoping to get at least $50 for them. But that is, I, I was really surprised to find that at my Goodwill because I really feel like that's probably not a brand that people around here even know about. I don't even know where you would buy those, maybe online. But I don't know where else. These are, were $5, so they were 50% off. They were nine, my or ten. My goodwill is ridiculous with their pricing, and I got these because these are Y two K. Um, these are Y two K jean, a red rivet. Don't know what that is, but remember how it would have that, um, and it would. That's what, where it would. And they're a bigger size, and they're in really excellent condition. Um, I will market these as Y two K. They are a wide leg. Um, definitely very wide to K and these jeans part in particular are in really, really excellent condition. And I found another pair, almost exactly the same, but by a brand that is much more well known. And this is Vegas. Now this would be the older style. You can see, I think these probably were owned by the same person. They're the same size. These I did pay $7 for. They have the whiskering. Um, you know, they're not as cool as the shorts I showed you. Those are way more like Y2K, but I really think that I can probably sell these jeans for each pair, you know, $30. So also, um, those ones are marked as a uh, size five, size five. 
those look way better than the size five. Um, but what I'm going to do is I will probably list them as the waist size and not the five because that's like a junior size. And I feel like there's probably not going to be as many people searching in the junior section um, online as because, you know, adults buy more or closer to adulthood. And so I'm going to list those. I will put the measurements in and then I'll say marked as a size five. Uh, measures this waist size so that so that's usually what I do with jeans that are like a junior size I don't put junior sizing I'll actually put in the description I'll put that it's a mark to size five or junior size five or whatever but put that it fits this size waist so that people know anyway that is everything that I got at Goodwill oh that's not everything I also got this but this is for me this is um, just a really pretty like wrap bracelet. So you just wrap it around like three times, three or four times and it's just really pretty. I thought it was adorable. I just got it for myself. I don't, I don't know, I just bought it for myself. So that's nothing special, but I bought it for myself and I did spend money on it. But yeah, that's everything that I, I purchased at Goodwill. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Um, I'm still pretty tiny, so I need more subscribers so I can get monetized someday. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.